So I switched from Windows to Linux about a couple of months ago, like pretty much permanently. Um, I still have a Windows install on my computer, um, mainly for things like League of Legends or um, pretty much just for League of Legends. That's like the only anti-cheat online game that I really play. But uh, I just wanted to make like a quick video, like, because I fucking love Arch Linux. Um, and I've been using Hyperland as my Windows manager, which is really fast and smooth. And the reason I really like it is I can do literally anything I want with my keyboard. Like, uh, I can open up Firefox, I can open up, <laughs> I can open up a terminal, you know, it's pretty, pretty cool. And then, uh, Steam, oops. Uh, if I go on Steam, I can play all my games. So, like right now I'm downloading Apex. Uh, I'm playing TCG Simulator on here. It's pretty fun. Uh, Suicide Squad works as well. It's a really bad game. I bought it because it was like two pound. But yeah, just one of those things like modded Lethal Company works, Batman Arkham Knight. Uh, all of these games that I've played on here work like pretty much straight out the box. And it's just like, it looks clean. It's super quick. Um, like if I want to update my system, I can just open up a terminal, type in pseudo pacman, syy, that'll update my stuff. And then uh, I'm free to do a system update, which I don't think I want to do right now. Um, I'm not sure if it's best practice, but what I do is before I update my system, I'll always run, oops, I'll always run time shift to make a backup just in case something breaks. Like, um, recently when I updated it, my wallpaper on my vertical monitor broke. Uh, like it wouldn't display it properly. So I've downgraded my Hyperland to a previous version where it's working pretty fine. And I hear a lot of people being like, uh, oh, Arch Linux, uh, or Wayland doesn't work very well with NVIDIA, uh, which is the compositor that, um, which is the compositor that Hyperland uses, but I've run into no problems really. Um, I did have an issue with Spotify where when I opened the mini player and, uh, the border was like all messed up and stuff, but, uh, what I did is just installed uh, a different package for Spotify and that seemed to have fixed it. Um, there's some issues with OBS as well, like, uh, for example, if I bring up my OBS, um, docs, there's no browser docs for, like, streaming and stuff. So if I, um, if I want to show my Twitch chat on OBS, I'm not able to do that under Wayland. Uh, it is possible to do if you switch to X Wayland, which is like, uh, you know, it'll let you run, uh, X11 apps and stuff. But then... The recordings are all choppy and it's just not a good experience. I've got Steam, I've got, I use Firefox as my browser, I don't like Chromium very much. Um, and then for Discord when I'm using it, my, uh, that's my mouse scroll wheel by the way, it's like really bro it's broke. Uh, so if I, for Discord I'm using something called Vestop, which is uh, like a, a different kind of client. And um... That lets me do screen sharing, so if I go in here... I'm not sure if it'll let me screen share while I'm also recording on OBS, but we'll see. And like, I don't have Nitro and it still lets you do it like 1080p. Yeah, it seems to work even when I'm recording on OBS, which is pretty cool. Um, this is what I'm using for Discord. Like, obviously there is an official Discord package, but it just, uh, screen sharing doesn't work under Wayland right now for some reason, at least not for me. Um, there's like different wallpapers, like, uh, I have like a bunch of custom wallpapers I've added as well. So if I open up my wallpaper, you can see I have like a bunch of them loaded up. Um, there's also different themes, I don't like to switch between these because I've got like the perfect setup with the one I have on now. Uh, but yeah, it's just... And then obviously, uh, I don't know why I keep doing that. Or oh, office stuff, like say I'm doing work and stuff, I've got this only office. It's like pretty much like Word, like no difference really. Um, I tried to get 
League of Legends working through Moonlight, but it just doesn't seem to work very well. And uh, like, uh, for example, like it boots up and everything, but when you get into the game, you can't control the character with the mouse for some reason on League, um, which is kind of weird. I'm trying to see what kind of what games I have installed that I can show off real quick. It's like Gunfire Reborn. I have that installed. Obviously, it's not a very intensive game, but. I've been going back and forth between Steam, or not Steam, uh, sorry, between Linux and Windows for a long time. Just because of, uh, I don't know, Windows, it, it, I don't really have issues with it, but, and it's not exactly slow, but just all the like shit they keep adding on to it, it's pissing me off, dude. And like, I have no control over what I, what's on my computer at that point. And, um, I just wanted something where I could like, you know, control my own shit. So I installed Linux, uh, and I was like, oh, I'll just leave it on another partition and I'll use it here and there. And I, <laughs> I haven't switched back to Windows like for a while, actually. Um, I've literally only used it to play League with a, a friend a couple of times and that's it. So like my, uh, the apps I use to watch videos and stuff like TV shows work on here. Um, YouTube browser, everything works. Most of my games work as well. As you can see here, I'm playing fucking Gunfire Reborn. Um, for some reason, I'm not getting 240 frames. It's like below, which is strange. I think it might be because I'm streaming. Uh, or not streaming, recording my uh, screen. And I'm also downloading a game. But uh, yeah, this is working fine. And the, the one thing I love about Linux is say I'm like in a game and then I have Discord on another workspace. I can literally just press super 2 and go to my other workspace and then come back to my game it's so much smoother than alt tabbing and uh even when alt tabbing i get loads of issues with games like sometimes it'll freeze when i tab back in like skyrim and stuff but on here it's so smooth it's really good uh some games like do have issues with it where like if i open a game up it'll open up on the wrong screen because it's in a different workspace like for example i have workspace one two and three maps to my primary monitor and then three four no one two three and then four five six on my other monitor and then on the third monitor i have seven eight nine so it just lets me switch between my monitors super quickly but sometimes uh, a game will open on the wrong monitor but then i can literally just switch that with wind shift uh not wind sorry super shift and then the number of the workspace which also just makes it super smooth. Uh, I've noticed with some non-Steam games, what will happen is um, my inactive workspace will bug out and I'll have to switch off of the inactive one and then switch back. But it's like literally two key binds. It's like two key presses. It's so easy. But yeah, this game's pretty chill. I wouldn't say it's good. I prefer Risk of Rain too, but I always like to test being, uh, test my operating system with this game in case something's broken just because it's like really quick to install and you just like run through it really quick it's like it's, uh, it's pretty chill my music works everything uh, and then the, the one thing I love about uh, the way I have this set up instead of like pressing alt f4 and then sometimes the app's not even closing properly Literally everything closes as soon as I press uh, the right key, which I've set up to be One sec, which I've set up to be uh, Super and Q so like that Boom closed It's so fucking chill, bro And then uh, if this hasn't updated I'll showcase this real quick um I have it loaded up with my Pokemon mods, but I think it updated because they are not working at the moment. So we'll see what happens with that. But even like TCG Simulator, for example, like see I have the mod menu and everything working on the Linux. Uh, I was reading online people having issues getting Bepin X to work, but you literally just have to put like a, a Steam uh, Steam Launcher Win DLL override command in and it works fine. Um, I'm not going to play on this because I would like to play with my mods and I'm not sure if I broke something without it so I'm going to get out of here. Uh, cool. 
And then I was uh, also I was getting Morrowind installed. I'm excited to play that. I'm gonna do that through OpenMW. Uh, another game I've been playing on here is Spider-Man Miles Morales. I uninstalled that recently just for some extra space on my computer. I um, used Dash. I was obsessed with that for a little bit. But yeah, like uh, it's just a really smooth experience. You know what I mean? Like Spotify works. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, and then Stremio, which is what I use, to, like you know, illegally watch shows and stuff. That that works fine as well. Yeah, this is just a quick video showcasing my um my current setup. And, uh, you know, I think more people should use Linux, um, especially now that it's just such a smooth experience. Uh, obviously, you still have to like mess around with stuff to some degree. But I think it's worth it because you get more control over what you want on your system and stuff. And it's just like, even besides the control, it's just like, a smoother experience, you know what I mean? Like, you don't have a fucking Candy Crush Saga installed on your computer all the time when you update it. And it's fucking... It's just a pain, bro. Yeah, like, if you're using uh, Linux right now, uh, let me know what you think. Um, if you're on Hyperland as well, let me know if uh, you're having any trouble with... Um, if you're having any trouble with NVIDIA and stuff, because obviously I've heard a lot of people are, but for me, it's working real smooth. Um... I've got this set up in a way that I'm really happy with. Uh, and the way I did it actually was I installed it on my laptop first on an external hard drive and then I just cloned the drive and put it on my computer. And then obviously uh, I've just been running it uh, permanently internally on my PC now. Uh, it's, it's just a really nice experience, you know.